Hello, we're going to be learning the story of the three little pigs. And this time I want you to help me with the story. I want you to help me with the words, with the actions for the story. So I'm going to go through the actions first. Let's talk about the characters of the story. There are three pigs. So when I say three, I want you to go like this. Show me three fingers. Little, go like that. Pigs, we're going to pretend we've got a snout, like that. Let's say three little pigs. Three little pigs. Well done. Now, the other character in the story is a wolf. For a wolf, I want you to go like this. And the wolf goes creeping by. Creeping means that they're sneaking up on somebody like that. You can pretend to sneak up on somebody like this. Okay, now there is a mother, a mummy pig, for the mother, I want you to go like that. And the pigs are all brothers, they have the same mummy. So for brothers, I want you to go like that. Well done. Now, the pigs build three different kinds of houses. The first little pig builds its house out of straw. Now straw is tiny little bits of things like grass. And for the straw, we're gonna go like this. Can you go like that with your finger, with your magic finger? Brilliant. Sticks are bigger and a bit stronger. So for sticks, you're going to draw a longer line with your magic finger. Go like this. Sticks. Now bricks, we're going to draw a rectangle shape. Can you draw a rectangle in, with, in the air with me? Two sides are shorter, two sides are longer, and there's four sides all together. Let's go. One two, three, four. There's some other important words. House, go like that. We're kind of drawing part of a triangle shape for the roof of the house. There are some connectives. If we say unfortunately, we're going to go like that. Unfortunately. And if we're going to say so, we go like that. So, can you say it? So. If the wolf is talking, I want you to use a wolf voice. Make it a bit lower. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. You have a go. Not bad. And finally, at the start of the story, we say once upon a time and we go like this, like we're opening a book. Once upon a time. And at the end of the story, when we say, so the three little pigs lived happily ever after, we're going to close the book for happily ever after. Say it with me, happily ever after. There's some other actions to go with the story, but you'll pick those up as you go along. Let's have a go. This is the story of the three little pigs. Join in with me with the actions and the words, please. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who live with their mother. Early one morning, they woke up and their mother said, you're too big for this house, go and make a house of your own. So they walked and they walked and they walked. Now, the first little pig made his hat out of straw. Unfortunately, the big bad wolf came creeping by. And he said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. I'll not let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. So the first little pig ran away to find his brother. Now the second little pig made his house out of sticks. Unfortunately, the big bad wolf came creeping by and he said, little pig, little pig, 
Let me come in. No, no, no. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. I will not let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. So the first little pig and the second little pig ran away to find their brother. Now the third little pig made his house out of bricks. Unfortunately, the big bad wolf came creeping by and he said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, I will not let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but luckily he could not blow the house down. The wolf was so angry that he climbed onto the roof and began to climb down the chimney. The third little pig hung a pot full of boiling water over a blazing fire. Just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, he took the cover off. In fell the wolf. He shot back out of that chimney and he ran and he ran and he ran all the way home with his tail between his legs and his bottom as red as a radish. Now, from that day to this, those three little pigs lived happily ever after. And that, my friends, is the end of the story. Have a go practicing that at home for me, will you? Bye-bye.